Hello, Sharon Lutheran Church. Good to be with you. My name is Pastor Lauren, and uh, many of you I've not met, uh, but maybe we've met through worship the last couple of weeks. So it's good to be in your faith community and now to begin with the staff sharing a community connection. I've just been thinking about scripture lately and that uh, we have a different holy table these days. And we used to gather in our sanctuaries, and in the last six months, we've started gathering for ourselves, maybe in another space, uh, whatever that space looks like for you. I was speaking with somebody a number of weeks ago where the woman said, Pastor, I have a table at home, and I light a candle at that table, and I read scripture. And I realized that things have shifted, and in her life, she had started a faith practice where as she couldn't come into the holy space of her church as regularly as she was doing in the past for a lifetime, that in her home, she created a new holy space. And I know that uh, many of us are doing that, but our connection is really around the word of God. And wherever you're dwelling in the word, finding a space of grace to do that for yourself. I know that I'm playing with that. I have different rituals and routines that are emerging over the past months where I can dwell in God's word and be fed. And uh, this fall here at Sharon Lutheran, I'm excited that as we work together as a community of faith, we are talking about one story, how we together share in God's story, how we're part of the Sharon Lutheran Church story, how we each have a personal story. But then when we gather, we have this focal point where we're going deeply into the word of God together week by week. And uh, it's a personal journey. All of us are invited to tend to God's word ourselves, listen for what God is up to, and to dwell in the hope that God gives us. And it is also collective. So keep journeying, find hope in that. I look forward to being a part of that with you in the coming weeks and months. And this week, I've been thinking about a scripture as this week begins for me. It's simply this word from Isaiah 40. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall rise up like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Do you know that scripture, Isaiah 40? Waiting patiently. I know that when I started thinking about that, waiting patiently, I had the thought, I am waiting uh, for a new normal for a routine that feels secure. And uh, then I realized the scripture invites me to wait for the Lord. And I had this feeling that waiting for the Lord was this patient journey, that every day we have this promise that God shows up. Wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing, I'm out of my old routine, like I once known, knew it to be with my faith journey. And yet to be invited to be present to each day and to look for God's presence. We as Lutherans, we believe in real presence, that every day God is in, with, and among us in this world. And uh, this Isaiah 40, it's a beloved scripture, but those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. You are waiting on God in many and various ways in your life journey. Lean into it. Last winter, I went to do a chapel service at a nursing home, and I came in, usually about 40 people would be at it, uh, active group mostly. And when I walked to the front altar, I found this gentleman sitting there 15 minutes early, maybe 20 minutes before the service was to start, a stately gentleman in the front row, and he is just sitting quietly. I asked him, what are you up to? And he said, I'm waiting. And it was like he threw something out there for me to chase. I looked at him, I stopped, I put my things down, and I said, what are you waiting for? And he is an aged man. He said, I'm waiting for heaven. We had a conversation for about 15 minutes about his life journey, then worship started. We had a great worship service. And after the worship, we picked up our conversation again. And it was clear that he wasn't going to heaven anytime soon. He was full of vigor, his mind was alert. He was strong of body, but his life had been going through transitions that he maybe anticipated, but here they were right there before him. And in worship, I could tell he was kind of teasing me a bit, saying that he was waiting on heaven, but really in worship, he was waiting 
on the Lord's presence, for God to give him strength, for God to renew his spirit, and for him to take the next steps in his journey, what they were for him. So you are waiting patiently on the Lord. You're leaning into this day, this week, whatever it is for you. Know that this promise is for you, for me, for all of us. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That in your week this week, God shows up. Lean into that. Trust it. And know that one thing we have in common, all of us, is that we wait on the Lord and we look for what God is up to and we trust that together we have this promise that God does show up with strength and renewal and even this perspective that we have as children of God. One final thought, they shall mount up with wings like the eagles. I don't know what it's like to fly like an eagle, but it must be quite a perspective seeing the world from that vantage point. As we are part of one story together, dwelling deeply in scripture, we have the promise that we in some way will have a perspective that uh, is insightful, that we, as we mount up with wings like eagles together, as God takes us to new places as we dwell in the word, that we will look at the world differently because of what God is helping us to do together. We'll have a keener vision to see the whole world as beloved and ourselves as beloved. Remember that you're forgiven through the cross and you are marked with the cross of Christ. And as you wait patiently for the Lord, know that God promises to come. Amen.